Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to implement segment trees in C++. So segment trees are a very important data structure which are used extensively in computer programming and problem solving. So I'm going to show you what segment trees are, where they're used, how to use them and I'm also going to code the implementation of segment tree in C++. I'll also give a link to the code in the description, from there you can check it out and use it for yourself as a template. So first let's understand why we need segment trees or what's the need for segment trees okay so in computer programming we might be given certain problems where we're given an array so suppose in the problem we're given an array which has some values like 2 1 3 4 5 6 and 7 okay and then in the problem we're given we ask some queries okay we ask some queries say q queries and in each query what i have to do is i want to find some from range l to r so i want to find the sum i want to find the sum of the range from l to r and if you don't know these type of problems are known as range sum queries okay so i want to find the sum from l to r and i can do one more thing i can update so i can do two things i i have to either find the sum from l to r or two i want to update update kth position in my array so kth position to x so i can either do two things i have q queries and in each one, I can do two things. I want to find the sum from L to R, or I want to find the I want to update the kth position to x. L to R will be given in the problem. Okay. So suppose I'm given a query and I want to find this range, I want to find the sum from range 1 to 3. So I can simply run a brute force and do it right. So these are the indices of my array. So 1 to 3, the sum will be what? 1 plus 3 plus 4, it'll be 8. So I can simply run a for loop and find the sum to be 8. Correct. Now suppose there might be a query where I want to update the say fifth position to six or fifth position to ten. It's already six. So suppose I'm given a query where I want to update the fifth position of the array to ten. So all I need to do is I need to just say a of five is equal to ten, right? So this is how I can do it using brute force, right? So this is a very simple brute force approach where if I want to find the range, want to find the sum of range from L to R, all I need to do is run a for loop from L to R, uh, take the sum in a variable and then print the sum, right? And if I want to update the kth position to X, all I need to do is say A of K is equal to X. So this is how I can do these queries using brute force, okay? Now let's see in brute force, what's the time taken or what's the time complexity? So for finding sum, Finding sum of range, obviously we're using a for loop. So the time complexity will be linear. So O of n, right, where n can be from L to R. So this is the time complexity for finding sum of range. Time complexity for updation is pretty simple. We're only doing one operation. So it's constant, there is no time taken uh, virtually. So for time taken, for updation is O of one and for finding sum of range is O of n. This is using the brute force approach. Okay, so if the constraints are tight and if there's too many finding some operation, if there's too many operation, too many queries and the constraints are tight, then this will give you something known as TLE, which is a nightmare for computer programmers or any problem solver, right? So you'll, you might get time limit exceeded. So you want to find a more optimized approach for doing this. For doing what? For doing these range sum queries where you have to find the sum of a range from L to R or you have to either update the kth position to X. Okay, so you want a better way of doing this and this is where segment tree comes in. Okay, so using segment trees, using segment trees, you can do these by O of log n. So it will take O of log n for both. Okay, so for finding sum, so for finding sum, it will also take O of log n and for updation it will also take log o of log n okay so in log of n time it will do both of these things for you okay so updation normally only takes o of 1 so but here we're taking o of log n but the main thing is that earlier we we had linear time for finding sum of range and now we have logarithmic so that's a big difference so now let me show you what a segment tree actually looks like so basically in segment tree every node is nothing but the sum of segments below it. So every node is a sum of a segment, okay? And all of the array elements are the leaf nodes. So let me show you what a segment tree looks like. 
So for example, if I have an array 213597, this is my array. So 213597 will be the leaf nodes, the bottom most nodes. And then going up, we'll have the sum of the segments below. For example, 2 plus 1 sum will be 3. Okay, 5 plus 9 sum will be 14. 3 is 3 itself. The element direct from the array, 7 is 7 itself. So 213597 is my original array. And then going up, I'm forming the sum. 3 plus 3 will be 6, 14 plus 7 will be 21, 21 plus 6 will be 27. And the root node is the sum of the whole segment, which is from 0 to n. Okay. And then this 6, this 6 is the sum of segment from 2, 1, 3. So it's the sum of 2, 1, and 3. This 21 is the sum of 5, 9, and 7. So this is what a segment tree actually looks like. Okay. And for finding the sum and for updating the range, we're using this tree. And as you know, the height of a tree is O of log n. So that's why it's using, because we're using a tree, both of these operations are taking O of log of n time. Okay. So this is just, this is what a segment tree looks like in case you're wondering. But like I said, I'm focused more on the implementation aspect of it. But still, I showed you guys in a very brief way what a segment tree is, how it's used. And that being out of the way, let's get to the coding part. Okay, now let's get to the coding part of it. So first I need a size for my tree. So this is the maximum size of the tree that I'll be having. So I can put something like 10 to the power 4, 10 to the power 5, it doesn't matter. Then I'll have the size of the array that I'm working with. So that'll be int n. I can later put what n is. So n is the array that I'll be given in which I'll be running the queries on. Size of the array basically. And then I'll have my tree. So my tree will be, my segment tree will be an array which is representing a tree. So each element in this uh, array tree will be a node on the segment tree and it'll have the size 2 into n. Okay. So we'll have three functions. We'll have first function void build, which we'll use for building the tree. So from the array, we'll be building our segment tree from the given array. So that will be void build. And then remember, we can do two things. I can either find the sum of the range or I can update a particular element. So we need the function. We need one function for each of those things. So first I'll have int sum query. So this is for finding the sum of a particular range. It returns an integer and that integer is the sum. Sum of what? Sum of range int L2 R. So this is what it's doing. This function is taking in L and R and then giving back the sum of the range from L to R. And one more function that we'll be using, like I said, is update. So that will be nothing but void uh, update. It will basically update the kth position to X, like I showed before. So I'll just write that down, kth position to X. And let me just then comment this out. So I have three functions. One is void build, which is for building the segment tree. Sum query for finding the sum of the range from L to R and void update for updating the kth position to X. And yeah, so these are the three functions. And now let me uh, make the main function. So in the main function, I'll be given the array in which I have to do all this. And the array can be something like two, one, three, four, five, six, seven, anything, it doesn't matter. And the size of the array, as you can see, is eight. So here I'll put n is equal to eight because this is the array which I'll be actually working on okay then i need to build and in build what i'm passing in i'm passing in the array because i'm building the segment tree using the array right because i told you in the segment tree like we have seen in the segment tree each node is nothing but the sum of a segment from the original array and leaf nodes are the original array as it is okay so i'm building in the segment tree from a and then suppose I want to find a query where I want to find the range from 1 to 3. And I need to see out this because I want to print the sum. So, and then end line. And then, yeah, and I'll also give a link to the code in the description in case you're wondering. Don't worry about that. And then I want to update. And what do I want to update? I want to update the fifth position to 10 value. And then again, I want the sum so some query and this time from i want the sum from 2 to 6 and then i can have a return 0 so this is my main function this is the array that i want and uh, first i'm building the segment tree then i want the 
I'm running a query where I want the sum from 1 to 3. I'm updating the fifth position to 10th value. And then again, I want the sum from 2 to 6. And these are the functions. So now let's actually build the segment tree. So segment tree is being built from the array, which I'm getting from the main function. So let's do that. And then what I'm doing is I'm using a for loop. So for int i is equal to 0, i less than n, i plus plus for each element in the array, I'm making the <coughs> A leaf nodes the tree of n plus i is equal to a of i so this is for making the leaf nodes in the tree so the array itself is will become our tree this array is the segment tree and this is for filling in the leaf node and then we'll fill the rest of the tree by calculating the parent so how can i do that let me just write so for int running back from n to i so i is equal to n i uh, n minus 1 so from i is equal to n minus 1 i greater than 0 and minus minus i okay and in this what i'll have is i'll have tree of i is equal to tree of uh, i left shifted 1 plus tree of i left shifted 1 or Or one okay so this is nothing but tree of i uh, the children of tree of i will be what tree of i uh, <coughs> one left shifted i and one left shifted i or one so this is filling up the tree okay so if you look up a representation of a tree in an array you'll find that the ith position if it's the parent then these are the sum then these are the children so basically what I'm doing is I'm filling the parent as the sum of the children Okay, that's all I'm doing here. Okay, and then I can, so this is nothing but filling in the leaf node and this is nothing but, because as you know, if we have i, then 2i plus 1 and 2i plus 2 are the children. So this is the leaf node and this is filling the parent using the children. And this is already we have filled the children nodes. So this is basically building the function. We've already done that. And now let's uh, make the, query function some query function okay so we want to find the sum so i'll just say int sum is equal to zero initially and then i'll say for so basically i have this loop to find all the segments which will contribute to my segment l to r so i want the sum of the segment from l to r and for that i want the sum of all nodes which is which are going to contribute to this segment so that's what i'm doing in this function right here so i'll have if l and one so this is just a condition on l and sum plus equal to tree of l plus plus okay and if r and one then i'll say sum plus is equal to tree of minus minus r so if i if i found uh if i found it into my particular segment then i'm adding it and then i'm either moving up i'm moving l up or i'm moving r down okay and then then i'm finally returning the sum so this is the sum and the update query which is well relatively uh, simpler so i want to update k to x so first I'll just update the last value of the tree. The leaf node will be updated directly, right? So if I want to update any push, suppose I wanted to update this, then I can just simply update this and then this, 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 everything will be updated. But my point is that the last element of the array, I can just update as it is, right? So let me just do that. So it's basically uh, K plus N, which will be the original element, which I have to update is now what X, okay? And then I can simply say k is equal to k plus n. And now moving up, I have to update everything. For example, if I wanted to update this, then I'll just simply update this to whatever it is. And then I have to move up. So let me just show you. So if I wanted to update this, then I could simply update that. And then I'll have to move here, here, here and update everything, right? So that's what I'll be doing. So first I updated the basic position and then I need to update everything else. 
so for that i'll just simply have a for loop so for int i is equal to k i greater than one and i shifted one okay and then tree of i shifted one shifted equal to one because we have to change that as well so i is equal to i shifted one perfect so tree i one is equal to tree of i plus tree of i xor one okay so this is moving up in the tree so what we've done is we've updated the base position and then i'm moving from k towards one and for tree of i right shifted one i'm updating it uh, with the back the children and then basically whatever is being affected i'm updating that plus tree i or x or one okay so this is the code for some query build and update pretty simple and not a lot let me just run and see if i've made some mistake or not <coughs> okay so the problem is i want this to be a constant forgot that totally so let me make this a constant and now it should work perfectly fine okay so where have i missed so apparently I've missed a semicolon. So L is less than R. Okay, R this should be a semicolon, my bad. Okay, hopefully now there won't be any errors. Okay, one more mistake that I've noted is that N isn't eight, N is here seven. As we can see, we only have seven elements. So now if I try to run it. Yeah, so it's running. And remember, here we're finding the sum from L to R, but r isn't inclusive so i'll just write down r is not inclusive so if you want to find the sum from l to r then you have to make it r plus one so this is from l to r but r isn't inclusive so basically we're finding sum from l to r minus one remember that so some query one to three one to three should give me four one plus three because i'm finding it uh, the sum from one to 2 r minus 1 l to r minus 1 basically so 1 plus 2 will be give me 1 plus 3 will give me 4 then i'm updating fifth position to 10 this is the fifth position if i update it to 10 and i get the sum from 2 to 6 but 6 isn't included so 2 to 5 so that will give me 22 so let's see if i'm getting 22 yeah so i'm getting 4 and i'm getting 22 so that's it guys basically but remember one thing that you need to note is that uh, here I'm finding the in my code I'm finding it from L to R minus 1 R isn't inclusive L is inclusive if you want to find from L to R put R plus 1 okay so that's it I'll give a link to the code in the description from there you can check it out and use it for yourself so that's all thank you